What's going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to smooth out someone's complexion in Photoshop. So this is quite a basic um, way of doing it. So I might make another maybe advanced way of doing it um, where it will be a lot more accurate. Um, but for the meantime we're going to stick with this. So what you're going to do is you want to choose your pen tool down here. And I'm just going to zoom in and this is quite a low quality uh image so you probably need quite a high quality one if you want to get it done a bit better so what we're going to do is we're going to sort of look for the places where it's about the same sort of tone of color and you're just going to select it using the pen tool and make sure you don't go any uh, over any of the hairline because we're going to be using a Gaussian blur we don't want that to get mixed in too much so once you've made your selection, you're going to right click and you're going to click make selection. And we want the feather radius to be seven pixels and click OK. So then we're going to go up to filter and blur, Gaussian blur. So now you can sort of mess around with the uh, settings and just see what you think looks right for the uh, image. So I had it about 7.2. I'm just going to click OK. So I'm going to do command D to deselect what I've already done. So that makes the um, skin look a bit clearer, a lot smoother. So um, I'm just going to carry on doing it and remember to stick to uh, things that, like the areas of the skin which have the same sort of tone, else it doesn't work too well. And again, right click and make selection OK. And now we don't have to uh, carry on going through all of this. What we can do now is, uh, you see here it says Gaussian Blur and then it has the shortcut. So we can just do Command F, and I can do Command D to deselect. So you might get this warning where it says, well, it says this, you just click OK and it will deselect. So if you just uh, do Command back, uh, Command Z, sorry, or Control Z, and right click and make selection. So now we're gonna just change this to a smaller number and see if that works, that worked there and you can change it back afterwards. So I'm going to speed up the video now. Now, so there we go. So her face looks a lot more cleaner and smooth. I mean, I could probably clean up a bit down here as well, but we don't want it to merge in with the neck. So it doesn't look like she has a chin. So um, that's how you do it. I mean, I haven't completely done the chin, uh, not chin, sorry, the neck and like shoulders and that. But um, you guys can experiment and see what you do. It's a quick way of cleaning up someone's complexion. Uh, you also got the spot clean tool here, which uh, you know you can sort of get rid of uh, spots and that. But you know, so thanks for watching, and see you guys later. 